Hi, this is Becky with Icing on Top Becky's Cakes, and today we're going to fill cupcakes. So I'm going to take these chocolate cupcakes, and I'm going to take my apple core, and I'm going to get started here. This is my apple core, and as you can see, it opens up and it releases whatever you have just cored, which makes it really nice and easy for cupcakes. And this is my blackberry filling. It's made from fresh blackberries that I cooked down on the stove. I have a recipe online for the blueberry filling, and this is made the exact same way, only I use blackberries instead, so if you want to check that out. This is really super yummy. And then, um, so well, let's get started. I'm going to grab one of my chocolate cupcakes, and I'm going to take my apple core, and I'm going to press it down and wiggle it a little bit back and forth so I'm not squishing my cupcake, and just to about two-thirds to three-fourths down. We want to make sure there is still plenty of cupcake underneath to hold the filling. And uh, now you'll see we've got part of the cupcake right there. Now you can just leave it out and that's how I do it now is I just completely fill up all the way to the top because I think more filling is better. So I don't even put part of it back in. But you can if you want to just cut off the very top like this. After you put the filling in you just leave a little space for this guy and you stick it right on top before you frost. But um, I just like more filling, so any more room that I have for filling is a good thing for me. So I just fill the whole thing up with filling. So there's one down, and then we're gonna keep doing this for all of them. And you'll notice as you do this, you get more, if you have nice moist cupcakes, you're gonna get more of that cupcake stuck on the outside of your apple core. So about every three cupcakes, I make sure I wipe it off really good with a paper towel before I continue on. Otherwise, you don't make such nice, neat little holes anymore. And I kind of dump out any extra crumbs that come across. So here, I'm going to wipe this. Once you get them all done and they all have a nice little hollow center, I'm going to mix up my filling to make sure there's no clumps. And I'm going to get a piping bag. I'm going to put that, I have a little jar here that's just to help me stand it up so that I can fill it with piping, with my um, filling, just easier than me trying to hold it with one hand and stuff the filling in with the other hand. So I just fold over my piping bag so that it's in half, and then I'll stand up better when I have it in the, in the jar here. A taller jar might be even better, but this is the one I had on hand. So just open that right up there, and we'll put the filling right in. And then we're going to cut the tip off of our piping bag right about here, and it'll be easy to fill up. I'm going to hold it up until I get to the cupcake I want to fill, and then I just squeeze it down a little bit. And then I use my left hand to hold that tip back up, to pull the tip up as I finish. That way um, the gravity won't just spill it out onto everything else as I go by. So. up each little hole all the way to the top and see if you kept a little of that cupcake aside that you had taken out earlier you would just leave a little space for that and stick that on top of that but we're going all the way to the top with this yummy cupcake. and next we're going to go ahead and pipe the buttercream right on top of those cupcakes I'm using a 1m tip and I'm piping right above where I want to go so you're not pressing into the cupcakes and pushing the filling down, but you pipe right above and then you just follow it around. This is called a rosette and it's really nice for cupcakes. There are different ways to pipe. Obviously you can go high and make a peak, um, but I always think that's a little too much buttercream ratio to the cupcake. And so I think this is just about the perfect amount of buttercream for a cupcake and it's really great. Now you just go right on top again and go around instead of pressing it in. So you're not pulling it around with you, you're using the pressure from your hand on the bag to press that buttercream out and it just flows out of the bag and then you just move your hand around as it flows. And I'm using the blackberry buttercream that I made in my last tutorial, which is super yummy and has a lot of flavor so it goes great with these. And that's how you fill cupcakes. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of a drizzle and some blackberries right on top of that. And then I'll be done with these cupcakes. 
thanks for watching my tutorial and please subscribe to my channel.